In other news, the NOPD and the Orleans Parish School Board's joint active school shooting drill is over. The drill is aimed at helping to train school staff members in the event of a school shooting. This is the second year they've done the exercise. Megan Key is live at McDonough 35 in Gentilly. And Megan, this training could help save lives. Yeah, you're exactly right, Ton. As the New Orleans Police Chief Sean Ferguson put it, teachers, coaches, and school administrators turn into first responders in active shooter situations. And you know, the, the, the decisions that they make within those first few minutes are life or death decisions. We know that the New Orleans Police Department arrived at McDonough 35 hours early at around 6 a.m. to prepare for the active shooter drill. The video might look real that you're looking at right now, but it's all a drill. And NOPD first responders and the SWAT team showed up to lead the exercises today. Now, right now, what you're looking at is video of last year's active shooter drill, and police tell me they treat the drills like it's the real thing. You'll notice officers and school staff role playing a school shooting incident. And this year, we know that more than 50 Orleans Parish schools participated in the exercises. Officers tell me, although it's a drill, of course, they treat it as, it's, as if it's the same thing, and Orleans Parish schools super Attendant, Dr. Henderson Lewis tells me when they went through the first drill last year, it was a rude awakening for everyone. I almost felt like I needed an intervention after. It was very, very tough because it was real. Um, I will say everyone um, who played as far as in the scenarios, um, they played their parts well, and you really felt like you were in watching a real incident happen. And, you know, just to see someone who was like shot and possibly killed and it, it, it was really, it was really tough, but it really, uh, in my mind, had such an impact on our schools. Well, officers tell me that school administrators and staff that actually attend this training go back to their schools and share this information. And not only that, but New Orleans police officers also visit different schools in Orleans Parish to share information of what they should do should they ever be put in that unfortunate situation. Reporting live in Gentilly, Megan Key, Eyewitness News. All right, Megan, thank you so much.